Hello, I wanted to share this time lapse with you all before I post it on social media. Um, this was this week and it's in my moleskin watercolor paper book that's kind of long and thin. So sometimes I like working in it and sometimes I feel like it's too long and thin. <laughs> I'd rather have sort of a more square shape, but um, I do get in the mood for this shape sometimes. So now I'm taking gesso and just grabbing, I, I've not thought much about colors. I just put a little bit of aqua gouache on that palette paper. That's the gray palette paper. It comes in white too. Um, I don't really care which color I use. I'm just, tr I thought I'd try the gray. And then I scratched some marks in it with a thin, it's actually a knitting needle, but you could use anything, paper clip. And then I'm drawing with these um, Stabilo, they're pastel pencils. Let me get the name of them because they are almost like a dry pastel, but in pencil form. And the color is really, really rich and beautiful. It's just that they're kind of powdery. So they're called Stabilo Carb Othello. C-A-R-B Othello. And so really vibrant color. Um, so I was just messing around with them. I end up, I think, painting over most of this, but I do like how vibrant they are. I'm grabbing some of my Liquitex fluorescent pink here. And I'm, you know, trying to not think too much. It's, uh, you, you all know what I mean by that. It, it's hard to do, right? Um, and the more you practice and the more you do this, the easier it gets. And the, the more you're able to take that voice that's going, what are you doing? You're making a mess. <laughs> and just ignore it. Um, I'm grabbing different brushes. This is a fun little fan brush. And, you know, I just pick up things here and there. But you can do the same thing with like a plastic fork. You could drag it through the paint and make some marks with that. Now I'm rubbing in some oil pastel. Um, I was thinking too, though, that you could use like old makeup, right? I was thinking about <laughs> doing a little exercise, taking just old makeup and makeup brushes and seeing what you could create with like, I don't know, eyeshadow, I don't know, lipstick. Um, so now I'm back to the Neo Color crayons and kind of going back and forth between the crayons and there's a woody. That's also by Stabilo, the three-in-ones. Um, I didn't really think about a color palette before this. I, but once I started, I thought, okay, that's enough colors. Let me just, that's kind of what I do sometimes. I just start with what colors feel like I want to play with. And then I say, okay, that's enough. Stay within these colors. Don't keep adding more colors. Um, I think at this point I've decided to do that now. The dark Posca marker you saw is my brand new, so excited they made one, navy Posca marker. Even though right here it looks black, it might as well be black. I don't know why I have this thing about navy instead of black. Weird. Um, so now I'm picking up some of that yellow and just kind of going over some of the parts I wanted to be more yellow and experimenting. You know, I love mixing color. So a lot of this for me is just about playing with color and seeing what it does. And here I decided that that dark line was too dark. And now I'm kind of just playing. I ended up liking it though, but like most things I didn't halfway through. <laughs> 